Hello YouTube, it's PZSE in here. Whoa. What's this? It's like a... Whoa, it's like a... It's a completely different, uh... Environment here. Uh... Wow. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Uh, if you're wondering why the printer is different, it is because the printer that I normally shoot videos on is actually being used for printing duty. That is because this printer has some missing drivers from a recent thing that I tried that failed ethically. Uh, so this printer is useless until I can fi find its software CD. So in the meantime, uh, I'll be using this printer uh, instead of that Lexmark printer. So, yeah, the Lexmark printer barely works even. It's kind of uh, interesting to print with it. Alrighty, anyway, that's not what you all are here for. Y'all are here because you've been searching YouTube forever. Desperately trying to find a video, a proper video, on how to take apart this particular external hard drive. This is a Seagate Free Agent GoFlex portable external hard drive, and for some strange reason, nobody has made a video about it, or at least a video on how to take one apart. Well, maybe they have, I just haven't seen it. The only video I've seen that actually shows this thing open is a slideshow. And it doesn't even show the hard drive, you know, like a naked hard drive. It only shows the case cracked open and the hard drive taken out. So, I'm going to show you how to get even further, because I'm going to show you how to completely take apart uh, this particular chassis. I'm not going to take apart the actual hard drive, because that would be stupid. I just bought the hard drive and I have stuff on it. So, yeah, anyway... Let's go ahead and get into uh, the things you're going to need. Well, you're obviously going to need the hard drive itself, the uh, drive itself. Alright, you're going to need uh, some screwdrivers, although you really only need one screwdriver. There's a total of four screws inside, so some screwdrivers, but that's not the screwdriver I'm going to be using. Because, ah, here it is. Here is the screwdriver that I will be using right there. So let's get rid of these because this one actually works because I used it last. And you're going to want to have an iTunes gift card. However, if you do not plan on keeping this casing, if you have bought a better casing, I guess, from like Radio Shack or somewhere else like that, and or you just don't want to use this case again, uh, you can just use a flathead screwdriver to get into it. But if you plan on either replacing the hard drive in here with a different one and then maybe using the current hard drive in it as an internal drive in a laptop or something or you know you just want to take it apart just to see how it works inside and whatnot uh, then you will want to find yourself something like an iTunes gift card or a guitar pick should work as well okay so let's go ahead and get into this okay just so I can make this video a little bit easier on myself uh, I'm going to be working off to the side here, so I'm I'm not really going to be zooming in and out and stuff. Uh, in fact, because of that, I'll just uh, turn the printer screen off so it doesn't bother you. And um, so let's do this. However, let me really quickly get into a very important subject that is kind of important when you are working on something electronic like a hard drive. Uh, you really want to make sure you ground yourself now. If you don't have like an anti-static mat or anti-static wrist strap or whatever, well, you can use something like uh, anything that's metal. I'm going to be using these screwdrivers because they're convenient. Basically, all I'm going to do is just touch them every so often, so that way I discharge into them as opposed to the drive. So, in fact, something else I'm going to do, I'm going to take my socks off, so that way I don't build up any more electricity than necessary. Okay, so, uh, let's go ahead and get into this then. Alright, so, first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this little attachment here, like so, and you're done. You've taken apart your drive. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, alright. If you do plan, if your plan is to not keep up with this case, though, I would at least keep up with this thing. I mean, this thing could be extremely useful. I mean, Think about it, this one piece right here will make life, like backing up stuff when you want to replace a hard drive and stuff, so much easier. Uh, so if you're if you're going to just throw out this casing, or the, you know, the uh, enclosure that it's in right now, 
I would highly recommend, unless you have a better one, but even if you do, I'd still hold on to this thing, because it could come in serious handy, and it looks like, yeah, I mean, it just, just hold on to it, don't get rid of it, but I'm going to set it off to the side so we don't have to see it, because it's not really used in the uh, rest of the disassembly. Okay, so, let's go ahead and actually get inside of this thing here. Where I start from is this corner, alright? This corner here was the loosest corner for me. I don't know why, it just was. So maybe it's loosest for you. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my uh, iTunes gift card, I'm going to put it in there, and I'm going to kind of angle it towards me a little a bit, and I'm going to wedge it in there slightly deep, and make sure that the uh, Seagate logo is facing, up, facing towards you while you do this. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Now, once I get it kind of in there, once I feel like it in there, I'm just going to kind of go around the perimeter of it. You know, like this, making sure that I am prying upwards so that way I don't, like, pull any clips off. I have broken clips on here, by the way. Uh, so you, you just, just be careful here. Try not to rush it. I was just, yeah, try not to rush yourself too much. That didn't sound good. Um, but basically just trying to open up these clips. But believe me. If you break, uh, if you only break like one clip, don't worry. There are quite a lot of clips. Uh, but if you take it apart like several times, like this is my second time taking it apart today, and this is also my third time taking it apart ever since owning it, then well, you better be careful. Uh, yeah, most of my broken clips are along this side, by the way. But now you want to carefully just kind of figure out how this thing comes off. I have absolutely no idea what the proper way of taking it off is, so I just kind of. Uh, clench my teeth and rip it off and yeah as you can see uh, those were the clips that I broke earlier but oh well life is tough uh, looks like my other clips are still intact so that's a good thing anyway look it's the hard drive OMG this is also the uh, the furthest I've ever seen a video go like they'll show how to take the casing off and they'll stop here we will not stop, though. We are going to keep going until we have a naked hard drive in our hands. All right, I should point out real quickly, and this is going to become important in the reassembly video. Notice how this bit here is bent on mine. Uh, that's just just be aware that uh, that is supposed to correspond with the casing or something. I'm not really sure how, but just in, make that a mental note that when you're reassembling it, and I'm pretty sure in the reassembly video I will you know, mention this also, but just make sure you're careful with it. Uh, when you get to that part, but anyway, this is actually the hardest step, I believe, um, actually getting the hard drive out. Um, it almost feels like, you know, it's, it's not going to come out, but it's only held in by some rubber, uh, stoppers. So basically, you just kind of lightly bend up on the, uh, the casing here. Don't bend up too much, because you don't want to break it. And then just kind of, uh, lift up on it and pull it out. Alright, and then, once you get it upwards like this, just kind of just kind of uh, pull outwards like that and it'll come off. Now there's the bottom casing, here is the hard drive itself. Um, I'll keep one of those, but let's get, uh, let's just get another printer on that. Alright, now, next step. Uh, if you'll notice here, let me uh, macro in better. If you notice, you've got these four little rubber things. Well, guess what? Under the rubber things are screws. So just pop these rubber things off. And you've got a very high quality Phillips screw. I mean like extremely high quality Phillips screw. And if they are actually cheapo Phillips screws then they are doing quite a good job of making me think that they are high quality. I mean look at how thick that is. I mean like wow. These are nice screws. Alright so to free the hard drive from its little um, holder thing, bracket, whatever you want to call it, uh, just unscrew these four screws. Alright, and I should note that they are not actually uh, attached to like the bracket itself by like, you know, a washer that, and there's like a word for it, I don't remember what it's called, but they will actually come away from the drive when you're done, as you can see right there, so make sure you store them in a safe place. I store mine in the case, just so they don't go away. Anyway, let's take these out. Uh, 
Okay, so once you get the screws out, and yeah, it's kind of almost like expected that when you take them out, your screwdriver will slip. I don't know why that is, but carefully, let me uh, come back to the camera here so I can show you this. Just ever so carefully get it out of its little holder here. Just kind of lightly pry up on there so that way it kind of bends upwards a little bit and separates. Don't actually force it to bend it, just, you know. Then just kind of lift up on this, on these little tabbies right there and uh, do the same on this side. Alright, and once that happens, you just pull it out. Alright, and then set that aside. And I would pretty much safely say that we are now holding a naked hard drive in our hands. So I would say we are done. So, yeah, that's how you take apart and, uh, well, that's at least how you take apart this thing. So... There you go. That's another way of fully extricated this hard drive. Let's actually talk a bit about the hard drive. I really don't know a whole lot about the hard drive, and as it turns out, neither does a lot of people. That is because apparently, this hard drive is not sold separately. It only comes with uh, these external hard drives, which means that there's not much information on them. But it does list enough stuff on it to kind of give you an idea of the kind of performance you'll get out of it should you decide to put it inside of your computer. So let me go ahead and show you some stuff up close. Starting right here, what almost looks like it'd be a the the name of the hard drive, and it might it might actually be. Uh, you can see that it says Momentus 5400.6. Now, I can only assume that that's talking about the RPM. So. I think that means that this is actually a 5400 RPM drive. Which, to be honest with you, surprised me because this thing is really fast. I mean, really fast. Uh, especially if it's a USB 3.0 interface, you know, I just think, wow. Uh, even on USB 2.0, it's pretty fast, but... Um, yeah, I think it's a uh, 5400 RPM. But that also makes sense because this thing seems to be suspiciously low powered. I mean, the USB ports on my Apple keyboard when plugged in my uh, PC are not powerful enough to power uh, any flash drive that I own, or at least any that I've tried in it. But I plugged this thing into it first thing, and it booted right up. So, <laughs> if it can power, if it, if this thing uses up less power than a flash drive, that's just amazing. Uh, but anyway, that's that. Do not cover breather hole. Caution. Avoid excessive shock. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, need support? Visit Seagate.com. So as you can see, product of China, all that stuff. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a 500 gigabyte hard drive. Obviously, if yours is a terabyte model, it will probably either say a thousand gigabytes or one terabyte. I'm not really sure how Seagate, uh, you know, notates those things. Now, there's one thing I want to talk about really quickly, and this thing actually like, terrified me last night when I took it apart uh, the first time. There's a hole in the hard drive. Whoa. Yes, there is a hole in the hard drive. I was absolutely worried to friggin' death about that because I'm like, well, that's great. Maybe that's there as a way of making sure your warranty not only gets voided, but the hard drive becomes un non-functional when you take it apart. But here's the thing I'm thinking about. There is absolutely no way that the uh, external, you know, that the enclosure that it comes in is, air, you know, airtight, uh, let alone dust tight. So... I don't really know. Maybe that's just a breather hole. I'm pretty sure it's pretty heavily filtered, uh, so that way nothing gets to it. Uh, but yes, I was really worried about that. But anyway, this is a SATA drive, as you can see. Uh, so what actually happens when you plug in this piece into it, you're actually plugging directly into the drive. It's not like some sort of magical extender. It actually plugs directly into the hard drive like that. And there you go. Uh, so that's that. Uh, there's nothing really else of interest. There's no, like, jumper. Actually, there are jumpers. What do you know? Uh, so, interesting. Yeah, but there's not really that much other stuff. There's a barcode. Um, that's pretty much it. 
So yeah, I, I, I really don't know what the point of that hole is. Um, so yeah, if anybody could tell me what that hole is for, that'd be awesome. Because, you know, I mean, that's just my theory, what I just mentioned there. So obviously, you know, I'd like to have, like, the fact of it. I don't know. Anybody who's ever taken apart one of these hard drives, uh, if that hole is actually, you know, doesn't actually have any interference with the actual hard drive mechanism, just, that would be freaking awesome of you to tell me. Alrighty, so anyway, if you would like to know how to put this drive back together, uh, then go ahead and click on the annotation on your screen. Otherwise, you can put this thing in your laptop, you can do whatever you want to do, um, so there you go. Yeah, um, this is actually interesting, I just noticed you can kind of see the outline of the mechanism in this sticker, kind of embossed, I don't know if you can make that out on camera, that's pretty interesting. Uh, like here is the big fat hugeungus magnet, there's the needle, there is the, uh, whatever that thing's called, um, platter, here's the, whoa, motor thing. Uh, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, adios, and again, click on the annotation if you would like to know how to put this thing back together, that might be pretty important, you never know.